And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Steps away to his left. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. And he's got it up and through. Out to kick is Janikowski. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Go! Go! Mike McDaniel! Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Caught on the right side by Dorsan. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. From midfield, here's Brady. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. This is caught inside the 15. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Josh Gordon, 50 yards. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. They certainly aren't afraid to dial up the long ball, and fans dig the long ball. And they absolutely needed it. And guess what? They got it. How about that? And now a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Throwing is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. He lets it fly for Lockett. This is caught. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And his kick is good. Out to kick is Janikowski. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. 
totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To throw on third down, Brady. And able to find Dorsett. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And give them a gain of 37. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. On third down, Brady. A bullet throw, but incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Duke Dawson picks it, and he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. On the ground is Michelle, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Wait! Again, it's Michelle. He spins free. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots can take the lead with the extra point. 
Critical extra point up and good. And that is going to put him on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. He's back to throw, buying time to his left. This complete to lock it. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's a gain of nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. That is caught at the seven. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Wilson on the keeper. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. I know they didn't get it, but I kind of like the call. Second and inches go right to the quarterback sneak. Normally, that should be executed better, shouldn't it? I'm, I'm going to disagree with you. I don't like the call. You, you, don't, you don't like that? That's just because they didn't get it, though. Oh, Hindsight's okay. 2020. 2020 and never defeated. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? Now, this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old fashioned goal line stand. So, on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They run for it with Carson. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Patriots are close to finishing off this football game. The Patriots' offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They're up by one. They have the football. The key here is just don't do anything silly, right, Charles? That's exactly right. And you know all the admonitions as they ran out there. Take care of the ball. Secure everything. Be tight in everything that you do. No let up. No crazy plays. And they can go home with a victory. You can see here if they can do all those things and hang on to this victory. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to them. 15 big yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. 
He's sticking to his game plan. Now that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. A lot of scoring. There's no...